good morning students so today we are going to do our last form that is the rl circuit form so for this i have taken the impedance function as this whenever you have been given a impedance function the very first step that we already discussed is that you have to check whether the given function will make a rl rc or an lc circuit so here we will be just seeing that near to origin is a zero can you see that this is going to give us the root s equals to minus 1 as the 0 and this is s minus 2. So s minus 1 is nearer to the origin. So the given circuit will give us a RL circuit. The second step that we have to check because we have to first design for Foster forms. So we have to check out that uh, the given partial fractions for the partial fractions degree of numerator is coming out to be equal to the degree of the denominator. But as this is a RL circuit and the trick comes in Foster 1 form here, we have to take the partial fractions of ZS by S instead of one step CFE as we did in RC circuits. So by taking ZS upon S, the transfer function becomes this and now we will be taking A upon S, B upon S plus 2 and C upon S plus 4. So now we have to calculate the values of A, B and C using the by comparing the coefficients of s square s and the constants so we are getting the values of a as 3 by 8 b as 1 by 4 and c as 3 by 8 that we are going to put in our this equations and we have got zs upon s as this now we have to take this as that was there in the denominator towards this side to get the partial fractions of zs so here S gets cancelled out and this S I have multiplied in the numerator. So I have written here this is the term for Z1, this as the Z2 and this is the Z3. As these all are 1 upon, so this denominator term will be equal to Y1 because Z1 is equals to 1 upon Y1. So my first term Y1 comes out to be 8 by 3 y2 comes out to be this denominator term that is 4 plus 8 by s and y3 comes out to be 8 by 3 plus 32 upon 3 by s so i can write it in the simple form as 4 plus taking 8 in the denominator 1 upon s plus 8 similarly this as 1 upon 3 upon 32 s and now because this is a rl circuit so i have only tabulated the values of r and l here in the y term when we are going to see the resistance term is basically the conductance in moles so after drawing the circuit i can write it as 8 by 3 moles or it is also equal to 3 by 8 ohms similarly 4 mo or 1 by 4 ohms and similarly 3 by 8 ohms or 8 by 3 moles so this is our foster one form for our rl circuit so now we move on to the Foster 2 form for designing our RL circuit. So as we already know that for Foster 2 form we have to take the partial fractions of the function Ys. So in Ys also denominator degree of uh, denominator is equal to the degree of the numerator but here what we have to do is one step CFE here like in RC circuit we did one step CFE in RC circuit for Foster 1 but in RL circuit, we have to go for the one step CFE in our Foster 2 form. This we all should remember. We should all keep in mind this thing. So here is the one step CFE. So 1 plus 2s plus 5 upon the denominator term. Now because this is in the simple form, we will leave it here and we will be taking the partial fractions of our this term that gives me a upon s plus 1 and b upon s plus 3 which provides me the values for a and b as 3 by 2 and 1 by 2. Putting it here and then writing down along with 1 the complete function for y is, I get my this value. So I have taken this 3 to the denominator and we have got this value as the 1 upon 2s by 3 plus 2 by 3 as the value of y2s. Now comparing it with 1 by z2s and taking out it as the value of z2 gives me these values now i have to only design my rl circuit for the foster 2 form so y11 provides me the value of my resistance then 2 by 3 resistance in the z column in the z column r provides me with the value of the resistance and here also one more or one ohm 
being the same i have written here 1 ohms so similarly here 2 by 3 henry's because this is sl in the z column so this 2 by 3 directly provides me with the value of the inductance similarly 6 ohms and 2 henry's so now we move on to cover one form for our rl circuit again the trick comes here in the rl circuit for the cover one form here we have multiplied it and when we start with our one step cf uh, when we sorry start with our cfe for calculating the cover one form coefficients then what we found is that the quotients are coming out to be negative whenever this thing happens you have to invert zs means you have to do one by zs that is you have to go with the cfe of the admittance function that is ys so i have taken ys here so this gets inverted and now i will be carrying out my cfe as normal and here are my all the quotients after completing my cfe up till zero but as we have taken here because only in this rl numerical we have to go with our ys so now when we are taking the cfe of ys so the first term that i will be getting will be my ys ys means the first parallel branch will be there like in the previous numericals we had always because we carried out the cfe on zs so the first term used to be our zs so now as soon as ys will come just you have to go with your first parallel branch then again z y z and y and we have to keep seeing in the columns for your z and y for r and l only so this completes our cover one form so now lastly we come on to our cover two form as we all know that for cover two form your z terms should be arranged in the ascending powers of s so after arranging it in the ascending powers of s we have carried on our cfe but here if you just see that our quotients are not coming negative so there is no need for inverting our zs so the cfe will be carried out as such for zs so after getting the coefficients all the coefficients of cfe for zs my first term because i have carried out the cfe for zs so this will be z so our this branch will be there then y then z then y then z and all the coefficients have been taken from our z column for the zs coefficients and y from the ys so here we can see that it will become our 14 upon 64 similarly your this will become 21 by 3 968 so this is all for our cover two form the only trick that you all have to remember is for foster one you have to go with the partial fractions of zs upon s and for your cover one if the cfe is going to come out to be with negative quotients then you have to invert it for ys and then you have to carry out the cover one form and then you have to go by first ys first parallel term will be come in the designing of the circuit and after that z y z y z if we are going to go with the cfe of the y function that's all thank you so this is your homework numerical for today you have to make the foster one foster two cover one and cover two form for given zs as s plus two s plus nine in the numerator and s plus four s plus ten in the denominator